So we're going to be replicating the diagram shown on your screen. To do that, we need to draw a baseline that's going to guide our work our residue line. So we're given a diameter 24, the radius of 12. Yeah, this is our 45 from this place. This place is 45 minutes. So we're going to be drawing our circles at that point. The first circle has a diameter of 15 millimeters, which condescends to 7.5 millimeters, which is 0 0.75 centimeter. So using this point at the point of origin, draw your circle. It's going to be a little bit small and almost inconvenient, but definitely possible. Yeah, that's our circle. Then we're drawing the second circle, which was okay. We're given the diameter of thirty-four. We're going to be using so. 17 millimeters which is 1.7 centimeter let's measure that now using that point of origin draw your second circle so the next thing to do is to connect this arc with you Connect a side. Be careful when connecting it to the side of the already drawn circle. We're going to draw a tangent to the arc and to the circle.
next thing we have to draw is an internal arc to the two circles. And in our previous tutorial, we learned about how to draw internal arc to different circles. So we'll be making use of the knowledge we gained from the previous tutorial. Now, and to draw an internal arc, we have to subtract the radius of the arc. Okay, rather, the radius of the circle from the radius of the arc. And the radius of our arc is 8 millimeters. So we subtract 17 millimeters from 88 millimeters. And that gives us a total of 71 millimeters. Let me show you 71 millimeters. So from here, mark out your 71 millimeters. Then we have a radius of 24 here. 88 minus 24 gives us a radius of 64. Let's measure our 64. Then from the center of this circle, mark it out. Then this is our point P, from where we'll be drawing our half. So from point P, measure the radius 88, which we're given. Then bring it on point P. So we measure our radius 88 and put on the point P and draw a hack. Touch the two circles perfectly. Then the next thing, we have to draw an arc, which is an external arc we also taught in the previous tutorial. To do this, we would have to add the radius of the arc the radius of the arc we're given, which is 36 millimeters. So 8 plus 36, that gives us a radius of 44. Let's measure our 44 millimeters. Then from the center of the circle, mark out. Then the radius of this circle is 24. 24 plus 36, that gives us a radius of 60 millimeters. Let's measure our 60 millimeters. Then from the center of the circle, 